very close to an FBI director. When are you going to make one? Soon. He is. President Trump confirming this afternoon that former Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman is the front runner to become the next director of the FBI. Lieberman has an impressive resume. He served as Attorney General in Connecticut in the 80s, was elected to the U.S. Senate in 88. In 2000, he was Al Gore's running mate on the Democratic ticket. In 2006, he left the Democrats and became an independent, he was chair of the Senate Homeland Security Committee before retiring in 2013. Folks across the state and the United States are reacting to this news. News 8 Renee, Renee Schmiel spoke with a local political science professor who who knows Lieberman on a personal level. She joins us live from News 8 Control. Renee. And Darren, Lieberman is not necessarily popular with Democrats right now, but we spoke with a professor who was Lieberman's neighbor and who was involved in his campaigns, and he believes Lieberman would be an excellent FBI director. Joshua Sandman is a professor of political so science that, at the uh, University uh, of New Haven. He met former one. Senator Joe Lieberman in 1970, the and they got to know each other well. We developed a close relationship as he worked in the uh, uh, Connecticut State Legislature and then as Attorney General. Sandman thinks if Lieberman is chosen as the next FBI director, he has the right background and experience to be a good fit. He would be excellent. He brings a lot of qualities, I think, that the FBI needs. Sandman says Lieberman would be honest and straightforward, and that he'd use his legal background without overstepping. Though Lieberman has more of a political background than his predecessors, Sandman thinks that would help him. He will be more even-handed and more balanced in, in, in looking at, at the people in the political arena. Sandman thinks Lieberman would focus on homeland security if appointed, and he'd draw from his experience as chair of the Senate Homeland Security Committee with the support of the majority of the Senate. And he says it's a big deal for Connecticut that Lieberman is a contender for the position. I think we should be very proud, and I think it's well reflective of, of, of a state like Connecticut, which stresses uh, education. Lieberman works for a law firm that has represented Trump in the past, and Trump says he is very close to making a decision. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Renee Schmiel. Anna Darren, back to you.